Number one, having clarity in what you want. Look, I see a lot of men out there that are dating and there's no purpose. They don't know what they want. They can't say what they want because they haven't really thought about it. Their profile online doesn't portray what it is that they want. They just put a picture up and a few words and a high value woman is going to look at that and go, hmm, this man does not have clarity on what he's looking for. So you need to really sit down and ask yourself like what it is that you're doing. What do you want? What are the things that you're looking for? And be able to articulate that. It is incredibly sexy to a high value woman who is looking for a relationship when you tell her exactly what it is that you want, what you're looking for. Number two, responding versus reacting. Look, we can't predict the way that our life is going to go. Things happen on a daily basis that are out of our control, but we 100% can have control over how we react to those things. I'll I'll give you an example. So for me, I dated guys where we just weren't vibing and I don't know, I noticed something in their attachment style that wasn't going to work for me. And when I said, you know, Hey, this isn't going to work. Instead of saying, good luck. I wish you the best. They react crazy. And I say to myself like, okay, thank you for proving my gut instinct, right? If a 135 pound girl is going to hurt your feelings that quickly, then we need to have a chat. Another one is being curious versus judgmental. So one of the things that I've actually learned about being judgmental versus being curious is that judgmental people blame or shame when a situation feels out of their control. They're typically hypervigilant to their surroundings because they had to be as a kid. So being overcritical and having this black and white thinking is actually just a protection mechanism. If the other person is wrong, that means that I'm right. And then when you're right, you don't feel shame. So if I'm out with a guy and he's judgy and critical, instant turn off. Because what that tells me is that at one point he's going to be judgmental of me. It's also a sign of an avoidant attachment style. True story. Being able to hear someone out and be open to their opinion, not having nihilistic thought patterns, it leaves you room to be expansive to other people's perspectives. And that is extremely sexy. Another one is emotional depth. And this one is so huge. And I think that men don't necessarily grasp how much a woman needs to feel safe in a relationship. Women and men are socialized differently. And as much as I love hanging out with my brothers and it's chill and, you know, we talk about sports and football and what player did this and what player did that, that is not how a lot of women connect. Ask her about a high or a low of her day. Connect with her share your world, say something that happened to you. Women often complain that they just can't connect. And if a woman is not connected with you emotionally, her panties are definitely not dropping. Another thing you could say is, Hey babe, is there anything that happened today that you want to talk about? And then just listen, she will feel so heard and so seen. Another one is consistent with their presence. So Women cannot stand when a man is wishy-washy and all those dating coaches in the manosphere that are like, yeah, keep her guessing. You're top G. I dated a guy for a while who followed that coach Corey Wayne guy. And yeah, he's like a glorified pickup artist, but I don't mind him. He's fine. But this guy didn't know that I read the 3% man like four times. And he started playing those games with me. I dropped him like a hot cake on a Sunday because I knew he was dating other girls and I'm It's like gross. It actually has the opposite effect on a high value woman. She doesn't want to know that she is like one of five girls. So communicate with her between dates, throw a kissy emoji or send a voice text. Just be cheeky, stay connected. Another one is humility. No one likes a cocky guy. I'm sorry, but cocky and arrogant, bad boys, Women are only attracted to bad boys if they're really young or if they have their own attachment trauma issues that they haven't worked through. So when you're talking on a date, don't lead with your accomplishments. It comes across as bragging. It comes across as insecure and like you're trying to get validation. It's posturing. Just be authentic. Talk about stories from your childhood. Talk about your best friend, about your dog that that you rescued from the pound, about how you see your mom on a Sunday. 
She is looking for ways that a man is humble. And that is seductive as hell. All right, another one is setting boundaries. So let me give you an example. She's in the car with you and she tries to change the Spotify station of your favorite song without asking. You get to say, uh, no, I'd actually prefer we go back to that. But you're cool as a cucumber. A lot of my coaching clients say that what women, women will try to make them jealous on purpose. And you just don't give any emotional time to that. You have to teach people how you want to be treated. I know women aren't dogs. That's not what I'm saying. But if you reward bad behavior, it will continue in any aspect of your life. Purpose and drive. Okay, I need to expand on this one. So I'm at a, a mixer and a guy approaches me and hands me his business card and he leads with, um, I'm an investment banker. And I say, okay, that's, that's good for you. Great. So why, why do you do that? And some men will straight up say, because they like fancy things and it affords a good lifestyle. No problem. Fine answer. But let me tell you what a high value woman really listens to. When a man says, you know, I've always wanted to take care of my mom because she gave up so much for us. And now I have the opportunity to do that. Perfect example, David Goggins, Gary V always talks about his mom and his dad and what they gave up to be here in this country. It's so freaking hot. Okay. Another one is you have options, but you don't necessarily exercise them. So let me explain. Most men go on one date and they really start to like a woman. You're crushing hard and month one, you start to become super dependent on the outcome. So a lot of times you lose your edge because you start becoming attached and fear starts to kick in like, oh crap, I am really starting to like this girl. It happens to us women as well. So we get a little bit more needy. We get a little bit more dependent. And then all of a sudden she's wondering why she's not feeling as attracted to you. It's because your energy shifted from abundance to scarcity. You start second guessing, wondering where she's at. But remember, the mindset that you have to have while you're dating is that no woman is the one. We have 300 million people here in the US and there are plenty of women and men to choose from. If you don't have this mindset, and click the link in the description so we can have a little coaching session and I can get you where you need to be. So hopefully this was helpful. These are just some of the things that I am looking for and that I have talked to tons of women that they're also looking for when it comes to dating and they are incredibly high value. I only surround myself with high value women. So until the next time, I'll see you later.